Hello, kids. Welcome to our English class. It's the start of the third quarter. And for the first week, we will identify specific sounds from a background of different sounds heard. Here are the objectives of our discussion. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify the sounds of animals, sounds of objects and transportation, and lastly, loud and soft sounds. Before we start with our new lesson, let's read the paragraph on page 1 of our English module and draw a heart on the pictures that you heard in the park. Let's read the paragraph together. One sunny morning, you and your family went to the park. You saw many things and heard different sounds while riding your bike. What sounds did you hear? Very good! We heard the sound of a radio playing a song. We also heard a ball being dribbled by the boy. Did you also hear the dog barking? You're right, we also heard the birds chirping while flying. And lastly, we heard the sound of an airplane going to another place. Good job, kids! Did you know, kids, that there are different sounds around us? People, animals, transportation, musical instruments, and many other things can produce sounds. They can create loud or soft sounds. A loud sound has a high volume. Just like the sound from a bomb exploding and beating of drums. On the other hand, soft sound has a low volume. For example, the blowing of the wind and two people whispering. Now, let's try to identify the sounds of animals, objects, and transportations on page 4 of our English module. For those who will use printed answer sheets, please choose and write the sounds that are produced by the following objects on the blanks. After that, let's identify if the following objects produce loud or soft sound. Write them on the proper column. Now, for those who will use Google Forms in answering the evaluation, please choose the sounds that are produced by the following objects on the first activity. While on the second task, kindly click loud if the object produces loud sound and soft if it produces soft sound. For the last part of our lesson, Draw or cut out three things that produce loud sound 
and two things that produce soft sap. Paste them on your printed answer sheets. For those who will use Google Forms, choose the words that will complete the following sentences on the Let's Create part. Before our class is over, let me remind you kids that there are different sounds around us. People, animals, transportation, musical instruments, and many other things can produce sounds. They can create loud or soft sounds. A loud sound has a high volume, while a soft sound has a low volume. That's it for this week, children. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Goodbye.